Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of the Bombers Club. I have a very special guest here, one of my friends, and frankly, not only one of the longest hitters now, but one of the longest hitters in golf history, Justin James, world long drive champion, former world number one, pretty much has done everything and anything there is to do in the sport. Um, so I figured the cool thing about me and Justin, we face each other a lot and we create speed a little differently than each other in, in terms of our mentality, our approach, and they both work equally well. So I thought it'd be cool if we both gave you guys our best tip um, how to, on how to create more speed. So if you guys are excited for this, you guys want more tips on how to hit it further, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow Justin, probably one of the best followers in the golf world, especially if you want to gain speed. All right, so, I mean, this is applicable for everybody. So whether I work with a really good player or a player who's just starting, if you want to produce more force in the swing and more force from the ground, you have to load the trail side. Everybody who ever hit it long loaded their trail leg. I come from the baseball world, okay? I was a pitcher. So as a pitcher, I did not keep my head still, my weight 50-50, and just throw down the hill. I would get on my trail side, push into my lead, and then throw the, the baseball toward the plate. Force on the trail, force on the lead. The lead side is your gas pedal in the golf swing, but what most people forget to do is you've got to load the trail side to get to the lead side. All right, so how do we do that? I like a slight, most of you at home through YouTube instructions, stuff like that, we're told that the golf swing is just rotate, rotate. All right, with the driver, and you can see this at the professional level, the golf swing is really two axis of rotation. You gotta get on your trail side and rotate, you get in your lead side and rotate. Most of you at home who are really steep and over the top, you just try to rotate and then you rotate and you're steep and over the top because you never get into your trail side and they're never pushing your lead side. All right, so to get to the trail side, what I like to do is just have you start. Kyle's gonna talk about a trigger in a minute. After your trigger, let that trigger take you into your trail side. Just a slight shift in center of mass. Good players, they start with their forces on their lead they push into their trail. All right, when you push into your trail at the top of your swing, I'd like to see some depth here. A lot of you are told to not bend your back leg. Look at Nicholas, look at a lot of the OGs of the game. Their swings, their right leg, I'm not gonna say straighten because that's a dirty word in golf, but let's just say they load their trail side. When we load it, that's not loading, that's a sway. The weight's gonna stay on the inside of the trail side so we can push laterally because there's a huge lateral component to the swing. Load the trail side, push laterally into the lead. Now talk about that trigger that gets us into the trail side. Yeah, well, I appreciate Justin giving me a segue because I'm just watching this guy describe literally absolutely everything you need to know about hitting a ball far, which is not surprising because he's obviously one of the best to ever do it. But uh, yeah, so building off what Justin said, for me, you know, he knows a lot. I'll be the first one to admit, he knows a lot more about the science and the biomechanics and frankly the training needed to create the speed. But one of the things that I think has helped me progress in speed and you know progress in the sport has been not necessarily my physical understanding of myself and those things while that has helped, it's been between the ears. So for me, one of the things that I've always preached is intentionality. And so building off of what Justin said about triggers, every single player who creates speed has a trigger. You know, Justin, when he's over ball in a long drive tournament and you see this, you know you're about to see some ridiculous speed, you know? And I always look for him because the more he turns his head this way, the harder he's, the harder he's pushing. It's pretty funny, like it's, you can tell. But I um, mean, for me, it's the same thing. When I, go, when I go all the way up on my, when I do that rock and I'm just like this and maybe the, maybe the instep almost stays on the ground and you only have the heel and the trail part of my foot come off, I'm not really going full gas. But when you see me go like, so when you see me push down and then up like that and then down and this way, you know I'm going full torque. Basically what I'm trying to say is one of the most important things you can do to create speed is from the mind and the mind controls what trigger you have. It's very individual to you. So when you go to the range and you want to practice speed, start thinking about what you, can, what you do subconsciously right before you pull the trigger on a max out swing. It's very good to videotape this because you don't necessarily, you're not necessarily aware of it. But when you're going full out, you're gonna start doing something, a little tiny movement before you take the club back. And whatever that is, you wanna start building on that. Try to make that a little more extreme. That stuff will help you create more speed and it'll help you create more intentionality. The key thing here is intentionality and that trigger allows you to transition from a standstill, kind of relaxed state to the intense, 
readiness state you need to create a ton of speed. And then from there, it's really just about speed training and listening to professionals like Justin when it comes to biomechanics and the understanding of how the body moves to build off of that. So that's kind of my perspective. You know, it's more of a kind of a field perspective in the brain, but his is more of based on biomechanics and, you know, experience in the, in the um, TPI and fitness training world. That's a great point because I, I've worked with a number of players who are really good, who got longer, not because I'm smart, but I literally just told them to swing harder. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. This was a kick. You know, people are starting to catch on now, yeah. but intentionality is the word. So with what I talked about on the trail side, I see a lot of players with excellent swings where I wouldn't change a thing. How do you get them longer? Well, you try to reinforce their superpower or what they're already doing. So if they're loading their trail side with, I don't know, let's just say 120% of their body weight or 150, we try to get them to 200 and the same on the lead side. So for speed, intentionality, like you're saying, is absolutely everything. And it ties into both what I said and obviously with yours. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's these different perspectives when you bring them together um, are really great at creating a lot of speed. So, you know, we hope you guys took something from that. Um, I think it was really fascinating to listen to someone as, a, as professional, Justin, when it comes to the speed game and the power game in, in, in golf and long drive. If you guys want to see more tips, things like that, let me know, um, let us know. And uh, we will see you guys next time.